Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you are new here, hi, my name is Saz. Welcome. So today I'm going to do the how I would do my makeup if I was going to go into the Love Island Villa. Now I'd never be going into Love Island Villa, but I thought let's do my makeup with you guys and just like see how I would do it if I was going to Villa. I am probably going to be using most of my like most favourite bits of makeup and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, continue watching my video. <laughs> So first up obviously is going to be the brows and I love my brows when they are just flat back to the face and going absolutely nowhere. So and obviously I'm going to be using the By Ellie Brow Wax. This is incredible. I'm going to use it today with a really really tiny spoolie I got from Sheen. See if it actually does really make a difference or anything but yeah i literally love this stuff if you want something that's going to go through your brows and literally not move all day long this is the brow wax for you okay so next up we're going to go in and prime the lids with the p louise base i like to use the 0.5 and um, to sort of cut my brows up a bit and then the rumor to to actually prime the lids and if you can hear a buzzing sound it's a fan i'm recording this at like half past eight at night and i'm still really really hot so the fan had to go on i do really apologize okay so we're all primed and i just stuck some tape down so we can get a nice wing and i'm gonna go in with the p louise wedding wish xl palette because it is literally perfect so we're going to go for a neutral eye look that's not too heavy and possibly more likely a bit drip drip as well because I love a bit of shimmer. You know, I want too much, you know, it's going to be filming probably for hours, you know, that kind of thing. So we're going to go with that kind of vibe and then I'm going to shade, which is shade Union and I'm literally just going to sort of whack it in the crease. It's a really nice just light shade so i was saying the other like literally last week maybe even the last video um that i wasn't sure on this year but it has it has picked up it really really has i absolutely love jess i think she's actually just being who she is um I'm not sure on Mitchell at all. Um, I think some of the things he's said is a little bit like, um, what? Um, and I'm not overly sure on Ella at the moment. I feel like she's a little bit possessive, but obviously it is such a high pressure environment. You're with these people 24 seven and you are sleeping next to them like me and my other half we would have been together for like about two years three years maybe before we started like properly sleeping in the bed next to each other like every single night like you know it's just crazy like, i couldn't do that i couldn't personally just go that dive in really like crazy but anyway so next i'm going to take the shade at at Pleak, which is literally next to Union, and I'm just literally just going to use the same brush, and we're just kind of building up some colour. So my kind of eye look is kind of very. Um, if you like TikTok, then this is sort of quite a very. Uh, I think you say it Tatty. I think her last name. I feel like it's Lomas. I think Tatty Lomas. She does these absolutely gorgeous like really neutral eye looks winged out and like uh, she talked about these reddit stories and she's actually a really good storyteller but anyway so this is that kind this is the kind of eye look that i'm going for as you can see it's building up quite a lot of color you can see it more this side than this side so i think i'm just going with a little bit more on this side and uh, just going very like 
light I don't want like I don't want it too heavy and I'm just going to use like a few shades as well just because I want it nice and light to decide what I want by the way this one was a P. Louise 297 and this is a P. Louise 272 um I'm gonna go with a bit darker now and start sort of building up so I can never decide because sometimes my eyesight is really bad and I can't actually quite work out when I look in the pan what shade to go next. So I'm going to go with the shade Hubby and just start to build that out. Yeah, so Love Island is definitely picking up, I think. Um, I think they actually got quite a lot of character um i felt really bad that Ru i do apologize if i pronounce any of these names wrong um rushi felt really bad for her going because she was just so like unproblematic and she just kind of owned up for her shit um a lot i feel do feel like people need to stop saying that molly is trying to be Molly May 2.0 and stuff like that but she has done some things where I think mm, babe you really should have just told Mick that you didn't like him or that you really were like not sure but I do feel like she did say that but I do feel also like you know she could have been a bit more um can't think of the word a bit more like put your foot down kind of thing but I don't know so I'm going to go back in with the first shade the shade Union and just start to buff this all out and then so I'm just going in with the shade Rock on a 299 brush just to try and just I just really want it just to be a real seamless blend so I'm just going in with that shade just to try and blend it a bit more. And I do think it looks really nice and just simple. Okay, so I'm happy with it so far. I'm going to take a Pure Louise 122 brush, which is this teeny tiny brush. And I'm going to shade, <laughs> I'm going to shade, I'm going to take Make a Toast, which is a nice deep dark brown. And I'm going to slowly sort of just make. A, like a really small wing just to deepen like where you'd expect a winged liner to be okay and then I'm going to take a UC09 brush and I'm going to take the shade loyalty which is like it's a cream shade and I'm just going to start sort of placing it in the in in a corner and then sort of just blending it upwards so it just brightens the inner corner and then just go in with the brush I was using before and just lightly tap it over okay so this is what we're looking like I'm quite happy with it I did take it out a bit further than I was going to but it doesn't matter so I quite like using drip drip I like to put it on something like plastic that I can just wipe it off of and then this Real Techniques Defining Crease Brush it's actually really good for putting drip drip on so I take a bit and then I literally just sort of work into the brush that way I'm not taking too much and then just lightly dust it on can you see that just gives you a little something without it being shimmer heavy or crazy and it would just catch just catching like the sunlight and stuff like that i think it just looked look really really pretty i literally just taking a little bit and i'm just going all the way up and just taking it on the white bit but then just lightly sort of just taking it a tiny bit further absolutely loved it but especially now i know how to use it properly um so yeah okay and that is it that is the eyes for now we'll put some lashes on there. Right, okay let's move on to the base so i have already prepped my skin with my skincare so and then we're going to go in with primers so i'm going to use the beauty cocoa gold in my t-zone for my pores so we just have it nice and smooth 
I love this primer for sort of sorting the pores out. I think it does really, really work. So I do that and then got to go in with my absolute favourite primer. This is Plump Right Back by Nick, and you can see that I don't actually have much left. I've got like that much. Um, so I really need to get some more. And then we're just going to go all over the skin. But also had a really, really nice smell to it as well. So that always helps. And then to lock them all in place, I'm going to use some um, Amelia Olivia Co... Amelia... <laughs> okay, so for foundation, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow sort of hybrid thing and the fine skin tint just so that I don't have anything too heavy on the skin. And I have a new sponge as well so I'm just going to go and wet this bad boy. This is from Sheen. It's absolutely massive. And then to lock the primers in place we're going to use a Glow Milk by The Beauty Crop. This is incredible. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite setting sprays and I need to get some more because I'm really running out. So yeah, I'm just trying to sort of keep the skin as sort of light as possible i don't want too much um it, i wouldn't want it to be too heavy because i would guess that it is filmed at like when it's really hot and then yeah i'm gonna buff this into the skin this seems to see how many of you guys would actually be able to sort of do like Love Island, if you were younger, now I'm in my 30s now, so if I was younger, I probably would have done if I had, like, if I had the body and the confidence to do so. I very much lack confidence, so yeah. Uh, by the way, I use shade 3 in the Halo Glow, probably could get away with shade 2, and then this is shade 3 in the skin tint. Can you, it just looks so so nice i think these are going to be like my holiday go-to even a, like a summer go-to oh yeah i am glad that it has sort of proper like kicked in like being really good but yeah it's always like that though isn't it like every year like everyone's like oh love island's crap like it's not as good as last year and then it just gets so much better after like two weeks but yeah my skin is glowing i feel like i have literally just bathed in highlighter but no so that is all done and i'm just gonna use this massive blender just to really liking that i'm gonna do concealer in a second i'm gonna actually start with some contour i don't really contour too much um don't always really know where to put it i'm gonna use my made by mitchell i think it's doesn't have a name in it it's a michaela jane one i think the michaela jane one my brain is asleep. The Melissa Jade one, I think it's a MO4, MF4. I wasn't far off. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. I like to work it in the brush. I like to put it on my little coaster thing because I just want a little bit just to try and give me a little bit of a cheekbone because I have quite a round chubby face. It literally, I've got nothing to like my face in. And I do feel like it helps. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take a Trigwell T10. And I'm actually going to just lightly contour my nose. Just very, very lightly. Because we want to look like, we want to look snatched when we go on Love Island. I do feel... I will say, I do feel, when I do watch Love Island, I look at these girls and I go, I could never, because they all look absolutely stunning. Their bodies are incredible. There's, they're all 
slim and you know and also there's no like disability or disabled like people there like i am i am disabled i have to use a walking stick and stuff like that and there's no one there you know i understand it would be really difficult because obviously you've like i could i wouldn't be able to uh, any of them challenges but it would be nice for other people to actually see other people go on there and be like you know what? i could do that but no no one anyway so we are controlled and we're going to do um bronzer let's do some bronzer i'm going to use the same brush as i used for my contour this is the studio london um cream bronzer i like to work it into the brush and then into, i just sort of use the lid so i have i do have a new bronzer coming and i'm very excited about it it is the Jordana Tisha one and I solely blame my friend Samantha for making me have FOMO and getting one so I will do a video on that I said to say though if anyone's going to bring out a bronzer that doesn't make you look orange because this does kind of pull a little bit orange on me sometimes this is the shade three everything is threes I think I need to get a scratch card tomorrow from like number three. Yeah, uh, if anyone's going to get a bronzer duo out that doesn't pull orange, it's going to be Jordana. Now, whether or not it pulls orange on me, because maybe I've got the wrong shade, I don't know, but we, we will find out. Right, so we are bronze now. And then we're going to blush there. Now, I think I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to use these. These are the Unicorn Cosmetics liquid um, blushes. Um, and I'm going to mix the shades. We've got Bare Tees, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. And we have Bare Crush, which is this orange shade. But when you mix them together, they make the most gorgeous blusher shade. It's just like, it's just so gorgeous. Their products are amazing. Like, can you just see that this look? Uh, it's just stunning if you like a liquid blush i would definitely recommend them because they're so small as well like they don't take up much room and then you like you can mix them and you can get different blush shades and then you can get different shades from just mixing the two of them because you can put more like pink in or more orange in you know i just think they're great i'm just gonna go over and just make sure everything is seamlessly blended and then we're going to go in again with some more setting spray we need to do some concealer and we're going to go with the fine um beauty concealer i'm absolutely boiling it is so hot i mean i did wait until like eight o'clock to film because I was just so hot yes earlier but and I've also been avoiding it all week because it is so hot we're going to take this big old sponge and then just I really like this um this concealer but my friend Sam doesn't to be fair me and Sam probably actually have quite a bit of the same makeup but and my god she is some um, lovely brands but i'm just like so glad that we actually have quite a lot of the same makeup because we can talk about it and she's she is she is fucking hilarious i will try and remember to link her um down below because she is absolutely hilarious so that one was shade nine and i'm gonna go and shade 11 and just touch 
more. I'm actually not sure if I just put the same shade on. My brain at the moment, honestly, is just... We're just going to do a little bit of both because I can't remember what shade I used first. But I used shade 9 and 11. My brain, honestly, at the moment where it's so hot, I just, I just can't, I just can't comprehend anything. Like, uh, my sister, well, me and my sister, I do have two sisters, but um, I'm seeing one of them tomorrow to take my dad out for Father's Day, as it is Father's Day tomorrow. And I messaged her earlier and I went, oh, we are meeting at 12, aren't we? And she was like, um... No, Saz, we are meeting at half past 12 and I would have rocked up for 12 o'clock. No, oh, yeah, right, okie doke. So we are looking good. Right, let's set. Now I'm going to use the Jordana t-shirt in Marshmallow. I absolutely love the powder. If you want a powder that will literally not even move your makeup when you cry this is the powder it is incredible i have been trying to work out how i like to use it though because i know the pressed powder i absolutely love using a powder puff for i was going to use a little sponge today for the loose powder these powders are incredible i have three i have two big ones and this mini one and they're absolutely incredible so this one's marshmallow which is like a really nice light pink and then you've got the pressed powder which is my absolute favorite pressed powder of all times i absolutely love this pressed powder can you just like see like it's just flawless and then i'm going to use half baked to set the rest of my face because I do like I don't like that one under the eyes okay so this one is half baked and it is the lightest um <laughs> the lightest sort of like translucent shade um and this one, but I do find it pulls a little bit yellow on me but if I do it not under my eyes it's okay so I'm just gonna use it on a uh, Unicorn Cosmetics Peach Slice and I use the Trigwell Cosmetics Velvet Powder Puff under my eyes. Right. They're really, really good. And now I was... Right, okay, bronzer. We're going to go in with the Kiko bronzer. I love this bronzer, but please, please, Kiko, bring out more shades because this is shade... This is shade number one and number two isn't much darker than this one at all like you need to bring out more shades so i mean like w7 have listened and they brought out they brought out a much darker shade of their um oh what is it called okay, okay. as always i can't find the instagram picture but it's their bronze cheek bronzer they only had one shade and they brought out a darker one which is absolutely great and that is what we want to be seeing so yeah pico you know follow right so now we are bronzed up we're going to blush and i'm using the trigwell Cosmetics sally sunset and we're just gonna use the same brush because why not it's just such a lovely shade and it really does match well with the um with the unicorn cosmetics one so i'm just gonna go under the eyes with the shades antique and hubby or no applique and hubby just mix them and just to sort of bronze up underneath the eyes and I literally have taken the biggest brush to do so, which is a Real Techniques full coverage eye brush. Don't actually know what that means, but we're just going to use that like so. And now we can do highlighter, which is my favourite part, if I can find it. There we go. 
So highlighter we're going to be using the Jamie Lee Face Glaze because it means that I will be seeing from space. It is incredible. This is in the shade Original Glaze. She has four different shades and they're absolutely incredible. And I've had this for ages and I still have so much left. So I'm just going to work it into the brush. And I'm not going to do it too harsh, just so so you can just slightly see it and then you turn and they're like <gasps> So yeah, this is a P. Louise 6, 7 eye brush and I actually really quite like it for like loose highlighter I think it's a really really good and this highlight is absolutely stunning If I could only keep two highlighters it would be this and Steph Tom's Milk and Cookies because I absolutely love that one and then we are going to take it on the inner corner and on the brow bone now I'm just gonna use my little mini fan brush for my brow bone I mean how could you not love this highlighter and i don't think it's that expensive can't you remember how much i paid for it but it really wasn't expensive at all we might have gone a bit too heavy on the nose okay so for mascara i'm going to use this it's the um it's the primark dupe of sky high i'm not actually sure what the um name I think it just says mascara. Oh, double act. <laughs> the double act mascara. But one of my, um, one of the girls that I showed this to, she was like, it literally looks like X mascara, and it literally does. So it's actually a really nice mascara. It is quite wet, um, so it's a little bit difficult to work with. But I think I'm just gonna do mascara today just because I feel like you don't really need to have false lashes on and I do feel like this gives you a really nice effect without them can you just say just like, I just want to be like natural Okay, so this is what my lashes are looking like. I really like this. This is only 350, so right, okay, so lip. Now I need to be true to myself. If I'm going to Love Island, I need to be true to myself and it's got to be a red lip. So I have picked two red lips which I would use on Love Island because they last all day long. They're completely different formulas. One is a small business, one is a very well known business. Um, but yeah, these are the two that I would use. I think I'm going to go with this one so it's a little bit more summery. But this one is the Kylie Cosmetics in Dashing. Absolutely incredible. Absolute 10 10 and it comes with a lip liner. And the next one I'm going to use is the Jordana Tisha Paint the Town. And I think it's like Paint the Town Red or Paint the Town, but it's gorgeous, but it's discontinued. And then I think I'm going to use this liner. I think this. I think they'd go really well this one is the intense color by mua it is in the shade fancy okay we are back this is like i don't know if you guys can see can you see it's a really really thick formula it's almost like moussey and i still had the residue left over on my lips with my lip oil which was my p louise or as always and I put this on over the top and I thought I'd whack it in my bag and I ended up not reapplying it because I was like first time you didn't want to see just how long it lasts and I did a TikTok on it and I couldn't believe how long this lasted because I used it, I put it on at like 8 in the morning or something like that and then I had a McDonald's, a coffee and like just snack to that day as well bottle of drink i was drinking like a bottle of coke and water and literally by the end of it there was like it was just tiny bits in the inside of the lips that was coming off this really does dry down 
and it does feel really really nice it doesn't feel drying on the lips or anything like that so if you can get hold of it and you love a red lip i definitely would say so but as i said i do think she's discontinued it which absolutely sucks because it's incredible but anyway this is the finished look oh bottom lashes i nearly forgot to do that and i've got to find my bottom lash mascara i literally lose everything i know that everything is unless it's my makeup and then i lose it all thing and i'm looking for an all black thing it's not so this is the elf lash and roll oh, i actually really like this and i don't use the the fake sky high on my lip on my lips I definitely don't use it on my lips i don't use it on my lower lash line because it's so wet i'm just too clumsy and i just you know go for it but anyway so this is how i would do my makeup if i was going on love island so yeah nice and glowy really natural and summery but being just me and like no lash a red lip and you know just so much highlighter because i love highlighter and just a nice shimmer on the inner corners i absolutely love this this is actually one of my favorite kind of go-to looks and i'm definitely going to be using all these products again together because this looks incredible my lips are horrendous because i did a really bad job at lining them but you know it is really good so yeah let's see though if the the lipstick is actually transfer proof the lip liner 100 percent won't be because it's a um quite a creamy lip liner so probably be that but let's give it a go so as my friend sam says you need to do, do it like this so we can see you kissing your lips so this is for you sam yep just the lip liner uh, just a tiny bit of residue i'd say that's probably more from uh lip liner so as you can see like yeah that's really good i love it anyway thank you guys for joining me on this very warm evening doing my makeup with me and trying some products and stuff like that and just having a random chat so hopefully i will see you in the next one bye